Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be doing the time complexity analysis of various stack operations, which we discussed until now. So, uh, just to recall quickly, what were those operations? Those were the push operation, which was nothing but inserting an element into the stack. Uh, then the pop operation, which was nothing but removing the element from the top of the stack. And then we had our top operation, which was again nothing but just simply uh, accessing the top element of the stack. And finally, we had our empty operation. So these were the four basic operations. Empty just checked if whether the stack was empty or not. Right. So let's suppose this is our stack, right? And we have some elements inside of it. Let's say we have one, two, three, four, and five. Now, uh, just imagine if you if you want to put put yet another element into the stack. Let's say it is six, and we push it on top of the stack. So at worst, what will happen? Like if you remember the definition of the stack, the top pointer always pointed to the topmost element, which is uh, which is currently present in the stack, right? And whenever you, we wanted to push, what we did was we incremented the top pointer one step up, and then made it uh, to point to the new element which came up. Let's say we have a seven two which we wanted to insert over here, so. We did this in this manner. So at the worst, what we are doing is nothing but just a single operation while pushing into the stack. We don't care uh, how or what the other elements are there in the stack or how are they arranged or like because in an array, if we wanted to push a new element, let's say like if, if we had this as an array, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, and let's say we had we wanted to push eight over here, somewhere over here. So what we needed to do is first, you know, like shift all those the following elements one step forward, and then create that space for eight, and then push in eight. So at worst, this might lead to a, a worst case complexity of we go of n, right? The order of n, where n is what nothing but the size of the array, or you can call it as the order of the size of the array. But in the stack, since we are uh, always pushing on top of the stack uh, and we cannot disturb other elements unless and until, let's suppose we wanted to push at this particular position. So we will have to first remove all these elements from the stack and then push it inside. But even in that case, like if there are no elements, if let, let's suppose there is just this one uh, and then I want to push a new element, which is two into inside of this. So this is just a single operation. So the time complexity for inserting an element or the push operation will always be a big O of one, like an order of one complexity, right? So this was about the push operation. So let me just write the time complexity as well along with this. So for pushing or inserting new elements, uh, we have the complexity as big O of one. Now, now imagine, let's uh, coming to the pop operation. Imagine that we now want to pop this seven off the stack, right? So again, this will just be a single operation. It is just like deleting this particular element from the stack. So again, if, if I take the array analogy to this, so I have my elements as one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And suppose if I want to delete this four from the array, so again, since the array is a continuous block of memory, so I cannot just delete this element and leave this space as some random, uh, you know, like some random block of memory. Like the array has to always be continuous. So for that, what I'll need to do is after removing this four, what I'll need to do is like shift all the elements one step backwards so that overall we still get this one to uh, this as one, two, three, five, six and seven which will be a continuous block of memory. So this in the worst case will again be big O of n or order of n where n is the size of the array. But in stack, whenever we remove an element, like I again said, we are always performing all the operations using the top pointer. So whenever we remove the element, we'll always end up removing 
uh, will always end up doing just one operation on the element which is on the top of the stack so let's say we suppose uh, let's suppose we uh, removed seven then we our top moved to six now again we moved six this is also a single operation so every time we are just doing a single operation uh, so overall removing one particular element from the stack even in the worst case it will again be an order of one complexity right so that is the complexity for the pop operation as well so pop operation or if you call this as deleting so this was for inserting a new element so let me write it as insert and this was for deleting a new element so let me write it as delete so uh, for deleting an element again our worst case complexity is order of fun in stack right now let's move forward to our uh, top operation so let me just clear all this yeah so moving forward to a top operation what does the top do the top returns the topmost element of the array right it returns the topmost element of the array which is nothing but again a single uh, like a single step like if we had if we declared this stack using using an array so what we'll do is simply we'll just return the array at top which is again nothing but a single operation which is again in the worst case like if we just want to access one particular element so in the worst case it will again be order of one so uh, or like you can say uh, like if we want to look look at the element which is on the top of the uh, stack will it will always be an order of one so you might be wondering here that the top operation is order of one that is fine but in general terms if we talk what are we generally asked we are asked for the time complexity of lookup right this is called the lookup or or instead of lookup you can also call this as a search for searching an element so here is where things get a bit tricky in, in stacks and how so now let's suppose if i have this three in the stack and if i want to search whether this three is present or not so what i'll have to do is there is no way uh, in which i can directly access this three like i uh, keep, keep on repeating that for accessing elements into the stack we always need to do this using the top pointer right so if we want to look uh, if we want to search for this three we'll again have to do it using the top pointer itself right so how will we do that so for reaching to this particular three uh, if we want our top pointer to be pointing to this three so that we can know whether it, this three exists or not we'll first have to uh, like let me just change the color yeah so we'll first have to remove these elements like we will have to remove pop this five off the stack and then we'll have to pop this four off the stack and then finally my top pointer will be pointing to this three and uh, whenever i get this condition like uh, where there is let's suppose again we are implementing the stack using the array so whenever we reach this particular condition that array at top equals to our uh, key key is the uh, what nothing but whatever you are looking for in the uh, stack so whenever our array at top equals to key we know that we have found our element so in this particular operation what we did was we just had to remove two elements right but if we consider the worst case scenario what this can be is we'll end up like let's suppose we are in this particular stack itself like let me just clean this up and make it again so let's suppose i have again uh, i have that particular stack itself and let's say I had those elements like those were one, five, three. Uh, okay, three was first, but you get the point, right? So uh, let's suppose we had uh, this particular stack, and now we are searching for seven in the stack, which is not present. So what we'll do is our top pointer will be pointing over here. We'll check two with seven. Is it equal to seven? No. So this two will go out. Four, is it equal to seven? No. This four will go out. Similarly, three, no, three will go out, five, no, one, 
flow. So if you carefully observe, what we ended up with is we ended up uh, removing all the elements from the stack. So let's suppose we had n elements in the stack. So we we had to pop uh, all the elements one by one n times. And since the uh, complexity of popping, as we discussed, is order of, order of one, so popping l n elements would be n into one, which would be order of n again. So we ended up with a worst case complexity of order of n while searching for seven, which was actually not present in the stack. So the worst case complexity for searching or lookup could be order of n uh, in in the stack. So for the for searching or lookup, we have order of uh, n. Sorry, not one. Where n is what? N is nothing but uh, the size of the stack. You can call it as the order of size, order of n, m, whatever you want to call this. That's fine. Yeah. So this was about the main uh, time complexities in search, delete, and search. And if we just uh, see the want to see the time complexity of this empty function, so this is nothing. But again, we are we are just comparing whether our top is minus one or not. And as we know, uh, comparing is nothing but an O of one order of one operation, right? So this uh, this function uh, or this method will again be an order of one complexity. So just to recap, we the uh, complexity time complexity for inserting an element into the stack is order of one. For deleting is again order of one. For searching or lookup, it is order of n in the worst case. And uh, for this particular function of our stack, which is a basic function, it is again order of one. So yeah, this was all about the time complexity analysis of various stack operations. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope to uh, I hope to see you in the next one, where we'll be discussing some basic questions on stacks. Okay, thank you.